Now, there are about a, a hundred different ways you can spell the word Hanukkah. But no matter how you spell it, you usually celebrate it the same way. Lighting a candle, spending time with family, friends, and of course, food. And that's exactly what the Chabad of West Michigan did tonight to celebrate the first night of Hanukkah in downtown Grand Rapids. And we were there to capture the candle lighting ceremony. There we go. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. The Festival of Lights in full swing Sunday night. Dozens of people gathering in downtown Grand Rapids for the first night of Hanukkah. It's a tradition that's almost as old as the story of Hanukkah itself. Okay, maybe not, but this event's been going on for 33 years now. Happy Hanukkah! And this is year number four for Soraya Heffer and her family. A lot of like happiness and celebration with a bunch of other Jews, which is really cool. Soraya goes to Hudsonville High School, but last semester she studied in Israel, giving her new perspective on this holiday. I'm definitely more proud of who I am and like way happier to be here celebrating together. Hanukkah is Hebrew for dedication, and as the story goes, the Jews were trying to rededicate their temple in Jerusalem after fighting off Syrian oppressors. But when they went to light the menorah, there was only enough oil to keep the candles burning for a day or so they thought. The flames stayed strong for eight nights instead. According to Rabbi Yosef Weingarten, it's a miracle with a message. Darkness, a little light dispels a lot of darkness. <laughs> and now each year they use the largest menorah in West Michigan to spread that message. That to go along with traditional Hanukkah food like jelly donuts and latkes. And you can't forget about the classic Jewish LED robots. Huh, I must have uh, missed that part of the Torah. Or maybe that's just Rabbi Weingarten mixing it up with some entertainment as he does every year. I'm happy to give them inspiration that they should go home, light their menorah, and bring the Hanukkah festival to their own home and their own school and their surroundings all together make a better place for us to live in this world. Tell you what, it was cold down there, but uh, it didn't stop everyone from having a fantastic time. Also, if you're going to drive by the Calder Plaza over the next eight days, you can also see that menorah standing tall. Each night they'll burn an additional light until we get to December 6th. That is the final night of Hanukkah.